Oh my god, this this machine is broken. How do you fix it? Don't let it intimidate you. All it is is a refrigeration circuit with an evaporator, condenser, and a compressor in it. Everything is just bigger. The compressor's not running. Well, this is the one. It's gotta be. Okay, back to the basics here. Old shit, man. So first, always check power. Well, I, I mean, so, sometimes. You kind of you got to know what you're doing, too. So. You can check it anywhere you want. As long as you know it's a constant power. Yep. You got to check three phase. You got to check between... There's three different combinations you gotta check for, and they all gotta be the same. Now the next thing you wanna try to do, you could push that button right there. You could push that, and most of the time, at least half the time, it's that's gonna turn the unit on. But instead of pushing it, you can check for voltage across it. That way you know if that's what it is or if that's not what it is. And if you have zero, that means that pushing it would not make it start. Then, or before, or whatever, it doesn't matter. You still gotta check all these things. Fuses. You've got incoming fuses that have incoming power, which are coming in to the top right here. So we got, we should have 208 right there, 203, whatever, same thing. And we should also have it right there. And we do. So what in the hell? And then you've got this thing over here, time clock. You should have 240 there. Okay, not there. Okay, maybe, maybe here. All right, let's see. No, 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 not there. Yeah, there? No. Okay, over here. No. You got power somewhere. God damn it. Okay. Power. And power. There. Okay, so it's these two, the black ones. Black ones. Power? No. Okay, so we've got a problem here. We've got a problem. Now, of course, before you start going around chasing problems, you can do this. Uh-oh. Hey, something happened. I'll be damned. Now, that's awfully... Like, how do you explain that? You push it, and it stays, and then it starts working when you push it. Check your sight glass. Okay, so now, so this thing's gonna start making ice now. It's gonna start making a lot of ice because it's massive. So, what the hell? So y'all saw that. Y'all saw that happen. You know what that means? That means we need to replace the contactors. We're gonna do all three of them. These ones are, uh, uh, I think they're 240 volt coils. Yeah, yeah, that's right, 240 volt coils. Three of them. Hope I have them. All right, so this thing should be dropping some, some ice already by now. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. It's raining ice flakes. 
All right, so let's go see if I got three contactors. I just might. And good God, you guys, my truck is dirty. Okay, let's see. 240. 240. 240. What'd I tell y'all, man? I told y'all I had them. Ooh, three. Only three. Man, that's what's up. That's good. That's good stuff right there, y'all. Y'all ain't gonna believe this. Look at this. I've been got. God damn it. I only got two of them. So I think I'm gonna do... Uh, I think I'm gonna have to go with... At least changing the compressor one and one of the fan motor ones. That way I know it'll make it until I come back Monday. It's Saturday night right now. I ain't coming back tomorrow. That's what I'm gonna have to do. So, that one... Yeah, that one and that one. Yeah. I will suggest to you, however, to get a magnetic flashlight from United. You see that? Man, that's nice. This little thing is cool. It's uh, magnetic. You can recharge it uh, with that little, yeah, that little thing right there. See, my kids walled it out. They they messed it up, but it. It'll still charge, barely. Um, this one is like 25 bucks, maybe. I don't know. Something like that. And it makes the letter N. You see the letter N over there? You see that? It's pretty cool, huh? It, it's for, uh, what's it for? Nebo. Yeah, there it is. It's a Nebo. So that's the little one. And then there's this one that I was shining on just now this one is a little bigger and it also has a uh, a charge port rechargeable thing right there man these are great flashlights but this one's not magnetic on the bottom and that's the only thing that sucks about it um, also it has a glow in the night yeah a, a neon thing right there they should pay me to advertise this stuff man what what am I doing all right so there's my two contactors we're ready to start. So there's no reason why this should not last them through the weekend. Okay? And in case you don't know how to watch contactors, check out my contactor video. That's right there on the screen right now. Alright you guys. Check this thing out. I'm sure it's doing fine. Yep. Uh-oh. You hear that? That ain't no good over there. But... Mmm. Man, that gets messy, man. That's... Uh, I really don't want to start messing with that. I ain't gonna mess with that tonight. I might have to say something about that. Ugh, I don't want to mess with that. Okay. Well, that's going to do it for this video, I guess, guys. I'm going to go ahead and finish this one up. That way I can get it posted tonight and on the channel. I would go up there and get the model and serial number, but I'm going to I'm gonna come back. I'm going to come back on Monday anyway. So this thing, this thing can just... It can just live and suffer like this until Monday. We'll see what happens. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon.